Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making Italian Sloppy Joes. So the ingredients you see on my counter is what we're going to use to make these Italian Sloppy Joes. This is a quick and easy thing and it makes a great lunch for yourself or for kids or whoever, but it's very fast to make so let's get going on this. We're going to start out with our skillet which we're going to put a little olive oil in, maybe about three tablespoons or more, um, so that way we can start grilling our ingredients. And we're going to start off with a medium sized onion. And we're going to put this into the pan after we've cut it up into hunks. And what we're going to do is break up the pieces so that way there are no large pieces stuck together where, you know, the onion didn't separate. And we're going to coat it in the olive oil and move it around the pan until we get every bit of it mixed up and every bit of it coated with the oil. So make sure there are no large pieces stuck together and just mix this up thoroughly until you get it coated. Now on top of this, we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup of red and green bell peppers. And once we get these into the pan, we're gonna mix them up with the oil as well. Cause as the temperature comes up, we're gonna to wanna to cook these for, I don't know, about five minutes on medium high. So that way when your onions start becoming a bit translucent, you know that they've softened up, that's what we're aiming for. So go ahead and stir these up. Make sure your oil gets coated through everything because that's gonna give it that added extra flavor that we wanna get. And continue cooking this for the next five minutes. And like I said, about medium high, and you're just gonna look something like this when it's cooked through to a point where we wanna get the ground beef into the pan. And we are adding a pound of ground beef. Once you get it in there, um, you're gonna to wanna to take the ground beef and break it up into smaller pieces. We don't want large hunks because we want this to cook through. So using spatula, whatever you're using, just break it up and just totally get it to a point to where there are smaller pieces of ground beef. Because as you cook this, it's going to break up anyway, but we might, well, might as well just go ahead from the beginning and break it up and get it to that point. Now, I'm going to add salt and pepper to this. This is something where it's something you got to judge by how much you want in it. I used about an eighth of a teaspoon of each because I wasn't trying to overload this with salt or pepper. And then beyond that, we are adding two teaspoons of chili powder because that's going to give this a bit of a kick and some great taste. Now, once you get your seasonings in, go ahead and start mixing all the vegetables, the seasoning and the meat together. And as you're doing this, it's going to be cooking and you can break up the ground beef even more. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to cook this until the ground beef is completely cooked through. This could take like 15 to 20 minutes depending. Um, sometimes some stoves are hotter than others. It just depends. We're going like a medium high heat. Um, and just cook it until you get it completely browned on the ground beef. And there are no pink pieces left throughout your ground beef. probably wise as you go along to keep stirring this now when you get it to a point where it's brown if you have excess grease you want to take that out of there and then we're gonna go ahead and add a fourth of a cup of water to this and stir it up a little bit and once we get that done we are going to add three-fourths of a cup of chili sauce to this and we're going to mix that through once we get it in completely. This is going to give it that sloppy joe taste. It just It's going to be tangy and have a great flavor to it. So once this is in, go ahead and mix it into your ground beef and vegetables. And once we get this completely mixed through, we're gonna add two tablespoons of prepared mustard. This is basically the mustard you have in your refrigerator that you put on hot dogs or on hamburgers or whatever. We're just gonna add that straight in and then we're gonna mix that up a little bit. Now once you get this completely mixed up, you're going to want to let this simmer for at least 15 minutes or more to really get the flavor together, make sure everything is incorporated, cooked and everything just mixes, but also to cook down some of the liquid because you're going to have this like on medium high 
and as you cook it the moisture will go down but as you turn it off and let it sit for a few minutes it'll still thicken up as it's sitting so it's important to do at least that 15 minutes to kind of thicken it up a bit to begin with as you're doing this you want to go ahead and keep stirring it to make sure everything is mixed together and as you can see with mine mine is already thickened up and it's to a point where it's ready to be turned off and let it start to cool and thicken on its own So the next part of this that we're going to go to is we are going to do the bread part, which we are using the garlic Texas toast that you get out of the freezer section. And we're going to use the directions on the box to cook these and then bring them back to put the toppings on. So basically I just put them on a foil line sheet to put into my oven to bake them. And it only takes, you know, like 10, 12 minutes to get these baked. And then when you bring them back, you're going to scoop on top of this your sloppy joe sauce that you've already made up, which has had a few minutes to thicken. And yes, they do call it sloppy joes for a reason. This is a little bit all over the place when you're putting it together, but that's half the fun of it. So we're going to go ahead and put a decent amount on top of each one of these. Now this is the kind of thing that you can use a fork to eat it when it's done or you could actually hold these and bite off of them if you want to. Uh, they will be messy because it is a sloppy joe. And once we get all the meat on top that we want to put on each one, then we're going to top them with mozzarella cheese. And that's going to be the thing on top that gives it a little added extra kick. So what you're going to do is take your mozzarella and do a really good coating on top of each one of these. Now remind you, the Sloppy Joe stuff is going to be kind of hot, so it's still going to melt some of the cheese on its own. But if it doesn't melt completely, you could pop this tray into your oven with your broiler on for just you know a couple minutes to melt your cheese if you have to. And when you're done, it looks something like this. And these have an amazing taste and they are so great to eat, whether a meal or whatever. I hope you like this recipe, and if you do, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available on Amazon and bookstores worldwide. The first book is all about everyday cooking. The second is about baking. Have a great day.